my name is Abby, and today we're going to be, well, not reviewing anything. We're going to be looking at what I did over this year. 2020 is almost over, guys. So I thought um, of just going back over what we did in 2020. I started this channel called Goodies Corner uh, with my sister, Michelle, uh, in May. I think about May, end of May, and um, we started this channel. I got really inspired by school, guys. Mm -hmm. I know I'm saying this, but school has really helped me. And um, they gave me books to read. I started reading. I take a lot of books from the library in school, guys, okay? I just loved the school there, and um, they encouraged me to read the books that led me to starting this channel here. And I just was starting to get a little bit bored and thought of being a little bit more productive when we're staying at home. So I started a, this booktubing channel with my sister. And I just thought of going over some favorite genre books. And I'm not going to be exactly reviewing any book today. So let's get started. The first genre I have is Indian mythology. Do you know why I picked this genre, guys? Because I am Indian and I know a lot about this, so I could relate to the stories. And it was actually really, really funny, too. And how the characters act is really, really funny. The first book, when you think of Indian mythology, comes to Arusha. And uh, that's just an amazing book written by Roshani Chakshi. Anything by Rick Gordon Presents or Rick Gordon is amazing, guys. I guarantee you, guarantee to you 100% that it's good. Okay? Arusha was amazing. And um, um, it's where this girl, Arusha, um, has her friends, her Pandava friends, and they are going to stop this chivalry shadow guy before the book is coming out next year i really really can't wait for it i'm just like where is the book another one is kiran mala and the kingdom beyond if you guys haven't watched that video go watch it it's also an amazing book too uh kiran mala is where she has her friends and she stops the kingdom beyond from this evil serpent snake guy king thing Yes, and um, some another genre is thriller. I know I don't really read much horror books, but this first one was kind of not scary. Thieves of Weirdwood by Christian McKay is not that scary, and it's still considered a thriller, though. It's where the Skokes girl, author, and Wally go on this amazing journey to stop the ghost writer that was made up in the real world and existed in the imaginary world. Another one is the comedy genre. I loved to be failure in this, okay? When you think of comedy, like I said for Indian mythology, it goes to Timmy failure. Like, wow, just, it's so funny. It's the author, it's like, um, there's a detective called Timmy Failure with his friends called Molly Moskin, and um, they detect the wrong things, if that makes any sense. And um, another comedy genre book that I loved this year was My Life as a Potato. Come on, who doesn't like potatoes? It's by Ariane Costner, and the book is where a kid is trying to fit in with his new potato mascot thing. The next one I would do is the friendship genre. And the friendship genre is like, I made it up myself. It's like um, where you destroy a friendship or make a friend in the process or realize you're doing something wrong when you're with your friends and things like that. When that comes, uh, you probably think of how to um, rock braces and glasses. That was also a good book. It's not that bad. Um, it's where this girl loses her popularity just because she has braces and glasses and she has to make friends with this um, an older friend that is not much popular. And she's like, I don't know, a nerd or a dork. And um, 
Another friendship genre would be the book Cyclone. It is a roller coaster of emotions. Do you know what I'm saying? There's a roller coaster on the front cover. Okay. Well, there's they go on this crazy journey where um a kid blackmails her cousin into going into a ride, and then the cousin gets sick, and they have to go to the hospital, and it's just and she can't talk, the cousin can't talk. And okay. The last genre I made up is the equivalent or favorite. Like the favorite recording book of all. And if you like match this up with any genre, it would be just as good. The book series is Sal and Gabby. Yes, break the universe and fix the universe. Break the universe, um, it's where they uh, break the universe. And then there's these little um, particles that float around. And then that's bad. And then they close the multiverses or the universes in the next book, which is Sal and Gabby Fix the Universe. And that is pretty big book. But it's really fun because um, they're like pulling chickens out of there, and and just and even the um, the bully becomes friends, and um, a lot of characters change throughout that time. The last genre, as I it was the last, the equivalent favorite was the last genre, but there's a twist to this genre. It's the action genre, and whenever you think of action. Rick Warden. Yep, all Rick Warden books, King Chronicles, Percy Jackson, they're all action. Like, that is the most actioniest, is that even a word? I don't know, but I'm going to use it. Actioniest um, book, books, series. And I am going to be telling you guys how, in which order, in my opinion, how to read the series, like the major series, not the Demigod Diaries, those ones, but just the series. I'm going to tell you guys how to read that. I should have read it in that order, but this is the order I think you should read it in. Um, it, first, whatever series you're starting in recording, probably Percy Jackson first, and then King Chronicles. Of course. I didn't even know there was a thing called Egyptian mythology until that book I read. And after that, you should read Heroes of Olympus, The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, and The House of Hades. After you've read that, I think you should read um, Magnus Chase, and then after the whole series, just Magnus Chase. That is also a pretty good book about Norse mythology. And then after that, you finish the Heroes of Olympus series, where there's Greek and Roman mythology. And then at the end, you finish, you start and finish the whole Trials of Polo series. And there you have it. At the end, Trials of Polo was really, really amazing. The Tower of Nero, it just came out, and it's really, really good. And it's like, there you go. That's, I think, how you read the Rick Warden books. And that's the overview of my favorite genre books. And I'll see you in another video that I have planned. And please like and subscribe. Bye!